Visual media can most often be classified into either stills, such as photographs, or dynamic media, such as video. Recently, we have seen a number of examples that are much like stills, but contain some dynamic elements. These range from panning and zooming over a still image, the so-called Ken Burns effect, to adding animations to still paintings, to creating video textures. This work presents cliplets, a category of media that, like the others, lies closer to the heart of a static image than a video, but obtains its power by juxtaposing static and dynamic elements. A subset of this class has also come to be referred to as cinemagraphs. The juxtaposition of static and dynamic can occur either in the spatial domain, that is, parts of the image may move while other parts of the image remain static, or in the temporal domain, the entire image may be static, followed by dynamic moments or in both the spatial and temporal domain. In this more complex example, we have a mixture of spatial juxtaposition followed by temporal movement, followed by spatial again. Notice the flickering candles at the beginning, followed by movement, followed by the smoke continuously leaving the candle as the girl statically continues to blow them out. To date, making cliplets has required extensive planning at both capture time and construction time. Tripods minimize shake, Foreground action must be isolated from the background. Prosumer tools, like Photoshop or After Effects, are required to manually mask and find potentially looping regions. In the last few weeks, a number of specialized mobile applications have appeared to create cinemagraphs. We discuss here a more complete PC-based application that is able to overcome many artifacts that remain in the mobile applications, as well as providing additional functionality. Our tool can use any video, including short handheld video taken from mobile devices. The tool uses two timelines, one for the input video at the top and one for the output at the bottom. The user first sets the input frame to be used as the background. Then a new segment is added, in this case a looping segment. The user now indicates the spatial boundary for the region to be looped. Next, the user roughly chooses the temporal boundaries for the loop in the input. When the loop should appear in the output cliplet is set by positioning the loop in the output timeline, setting its duration, and in this case, setting it to loop continuously. At any time, the user can click play to see the current result for the cliplet. This looks good, but there is a small jump at the loop transitions. The user then asks for an automatically suggested nearby loop in time. The loop is represented at the output timeline as a series of diagonal lines indicating each loop instance. After adjusting the mapping to the output timeline, we see the new result. In this cliplet, a compound still play still segment is overlaid with a looping segment during the first still to show the flickering candles. The girl then blows out the candle and freezes again. The user has already created a second loop to show a dying flame that goes on forever. Unfortunately, there are distinct jumps at the loop boundaries. Instead, the user changes the simple loop to a mirror loop that will play both forwards and backwards. The mirror loop is indicated by up and down lines in the output timeline. The final moment of the flame, going out, now appears more natural. Other refinements help eliminate additional artifacts. In this example, small exposure changes result in spatial discontinuities along the segment boundary. Laplacian blending removes this. Adding temporal feathering removes the motion discontinuities resulting in the final cliplet. Sometimes motion behind the looping segments reveals the boundary scene. We automatically modify the spatio-temporary boundary to adapt to the foreground motion. You can see the results here. Here are some examples of other kinds of refinement. Temporal feathering, and local alignment. Here is a gallery of some of the cliplets that can easily be created with the system.